Good morning, my little mathematicians. We're gonna get you started on Pizzazz Worksheet D56. Pizzazz D56, always read the directions. It wants you to find the area and the perimeter of each of these triangles. So make sure to label that we're doing D56 Pizzazz and then number your problems and show your work. Each time, I want you to write out the formula. For the area of a triangle, it's base times height divided by two. Go ahead and take a look for that little box that indicates a right angle because that connects your perpendicular height to your base. So that means my height is a six and my base is that 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in. My base we said was 10, my height was six, I'm gonna divide that by two and that is equal to the area of my triangle. You can start by multiplying across or you could cross cancel and simplify if you want. So I'm gonna simplify. Now yes, two can go into both 10 and six, but you can only pick one. I like to pick the bigger number to make smaller if possible. So two divided by two is one and 10 divided by two is five. Now when you multiply across, you have five times six, which is 30 over one, so my answer is just 30. Take a look at what my units are, it's meters, and since it's area, it's meters squared. That's the answer to my area. So the area is 30 meters squared. You write the answer on the worksheet and you show all your work on a separate sheet of paper. It also asked me to find the perimeter. The perimeter is the outside of the figure. So it's only the bold lines. If you ever see a dashed line, it's not part of the figure. You'll see that in my next example problem. So the outside of this figure, if I take a look, that's just this eight, seven, and 10. Those are the three outside edges that make up my triangle, okay? Now for perimeter, there's not really a formula. You just add all the numbers that make up the outside. So eight, plus seven, plus 10. Go ahead and add those together. Eight plus seven is 15. 15 plus 10 is 25. So I have 25 meters. For perimeter, it's just meters. For area, it's meters squared. There's my work. Yes, you can use a calculator for this and then go ahead and write 25 meters for your perimeter. Okay, the only other example I'm gonna do with you guys is number four, and I'm just gonna get you started on them. For the perimeter, let's do it first this time, it's just the outside edges. Is this five part of the outside edge? No, it's not, because it's a dashed line. A dashed line is not actually part of the figure. So the outside of the figure for number four is just those three sides. So the outside sides are nine, six, and five. So if we add those together, you have nine plus six is 15, 15 plus five is 20. And for number four, my unit was inches, so it's 20 inches. For the area of number four, it's base times height divided by two. Look for that little box to connect your base and your height. So that connects this five to this line, which is part of the five. So you're gonna plug in the base of five, the height of five, and divide it by two. And what should your unit be? Inches squared. Okay, I've gotten you started. Hopefully you should be able to finish. How you fill out the riddle is my first one, number one, had 30 meters squared and 25 meters. So I'm gonna search up here for those two amounts. So 30 meters squared is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in. And then my other amount we said was 25 meters. Find that, it's right here. And I'm gonna shade that in. Shade each of your answers and then you'll find the answer gets revealed. Good luck, my little mathematicians.